You've heard of Wonder, the one instruction CPU I've been working on. Well, there's also a simulator for Wonder that allows you to experiment with it in a software way uh, just on the PC running Linux. So here we're going to run the simulator and load the monitor up. The monitor is what usually uh, is in the program memory when it starts anyway. And you'll see that in addition to getting a status of the current CPU state, there's in fact a console that is the I.O. for the Wonder, just like a serial port would be on the actual hardware. I'm also going to load the prototypical game that I used to debug and what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and run. Now you'll see there's the monitor sign on and you can see we're single stepping like mad. I'm going to tell it to go 200 which is the same command I would use to run the game from the real hardware and there it is. It's guessing my number. It says it guesses 500. I'll say that's uh, too high. So it guesses 250 which is too low. 375 is too high, 312 is too high, 281 is too low, 296 is too low, 304 is too high, and 300 is in fact correct. Now while it's single stepping, I can come in here and press a key and it will just essentially break execution at wherever it happens to be. So we can see here the program counter is at location D4 the immediate register has 25A in it. This is the current instruction which is a conditional um, well it's a conditional register jump and we're also looking at some interrupt stuff here because interrupts are enabled and we can see the accumulator here. Now just as a memory jogger we can set flash, we can go ahead and step to the next instruction, we can set breakpoints we can exit the program, we can clear the breakpoint, we can display memory, print a register, uh, we can load data, which we already saw how that works, we can set the program counter, we can dump the state of the machine, or excuse me, that's the state of the registers, we can examine a particular functional unit, so we can say, let's look at the stack. Okay, that tells me the stack pointer, the offset, and a few other key pieces. Or I could look at the I.O. unit. <clears throat> You'll see the LEDs have two on them. The display has one on them, on it. And various things about the interrupts and the timer and all that good stuff. And we can also set things like our input ports and information like that that we'd like to set. And so if we want to quit single stepping, 